In this tutorial, we're gonna make this cool animation. So let's hop on over into Blender and let's get started. Let's add in Bezier Circle, go to Front View, rotate it on X axis by 90. Scale it up and then apply the scale. Now let's add in UV Sphere, go to Object Constraints, Follow Path and select this curve. And made the path. Now we have our object following this curve. Now let's make some balls. Add another UV Sphere, move aside. Shade smooth and duplicate it several times. Move them into one collection. Let's call balls. Move aside. Select this UV Sphere and add particle system. Turn off the gravity. Let's play the animation. This will have some normal velocity. So go to velocity and give it 0. Now let's see how it looks. It have very less lifetime of 50. So let's make it 100. And start frame to 1 and end frame to 100. Now let's see. Okay, this is fine. So go to render properties turn off show emitter render as collection select balls we need to increase the scale this looks fine and let's see how it looks go to render view first let's see in workbench and select random here and you can choose any matte cap or anything it's your wish now let's see how it looks okay this is nice you can play with your scale Okay, this is fine for me. It's your wish. You can stop here or anywhere. Okay. Now it's time to add materials and lighting to our scene. So, I'm rendering it in cycles. GPU compute. Okay. For this lighting i'm using an environment texture i'm using this hdra and go to render properties film transparency go to front view let's add a camera Press Alt R to clear the look rotation. Rotate it on X axis by 90. Grab it on Y axis. Let's see how it looks. We need to move a little bit. This is nice. And let's see. Now it's time to add materials to our balls. So select any one ball. I'm adding basic principle BSTF header. I'm giving it a red color. Oh, it's cool. See how it looks. And increase some metallic. Decrease the roughness. It's your wish. You can add any colors you want. Select all the balls, press Ctrl L, materials. So you can duplicate the materials by selecting any ball and duplicating this material and change its color.
let's give a blue color but actually red and white is very cool okay it's your wish okay i'm sticking with this one now let's render it out go to output properties choose the file location file format of ffmpeg encoding to mpeg4 high quality now let's render it out if you made this animation tag me on instagram link will be in the description